After over a year of development, we're in the finishing touches of Paid Memberships Pro 3.0. I wanted to do a quick overview of the new features coming to Paid Memberships Pro in this release. We'll be slating hopefully in the next couple of weeks. I'm going to go over the features, what's changed, what to expect when you upgrade, and a few things to just keep an eye on. This update does make irreversible changes to your site's database. So very important that you're aware of all the changes before you click upgrade. So here's our Must Love Dogs demo site. It is using 3.0. We have a beta version available if you want to do some testing on a not live site. But I'm going to go into the uh, members list and just show you some stuff that's changed here so you can get a feel for stuff. So um, here in my members list and kind of an overhauled admin design, a little bit softer colors. We're taking a departure from default WordPress appearance and you can scroll through. Uh, and now we have a new screen, which is this member dashboard. So this is separate of the WordPress users list and editing user screen. You now have a place to do everything you need just for a specific member of your site. So here you can see the user's different memberships, active subscriptions, if they have any on a history of their orders, any additional information, and custom user fields in this area. We've added a new member notes field. If you want to keep track of anything about the member here, you can do that. The other big update is that this version now bundles in multiple memberships per user. That means that you can set up your uh, different membership levels in different groups. Groups can either allow people to select one level only. So changing levels within a level group would remove other levels, that another level that they might hold. You can also do a multiple group. So you can have a group of levels that people can purchase a la carte individually and hold multiple memberships, multiple subscriptions for your site. So in this site, I have two different level groups set up. I'll show you the settings in a minute. One is for primary membership options. That's the one per group. And then a version that has add-on services. As an admin, I can click on add a membership here, which is these, these two with three hours of dog training or a puppy potty training session in this site. I can do things like communicate that information to the member or set an expiration date if I want to. I can also edit someone's existing membership to add an expiration, communicate that information to the member. If this was an active site with a subscription linked at the payment gateway, I'd be able to edit the subscription here and cancel it if I wanted to or process a refund on the last order that was made. Let's go over to membership settings and I'll show you that how level groups work. So here in this site, I told you we have two groups, uh, the primary membership options and add-on services. Within the level group, I can drag and drop to reorder levels if I want to. And I can also add levels directly within this group. That interface is pretty familiar. And like I said, this group is set up to have allowing users to only have one per group. It doesn't have the ability to choose multiple levels. Here's my add-on services group. So let's say I wanted to add another one-time payment here for a, a caring for senior dogs program. I could add that here. I can make it a one-time payment, expires in a year, and then save that option. So it'll show up right here in my add-on services group. As far as the front end of the site, for how these levels look, you can add them individually. This one does use our advanced levels short code, our advanced levels page add-on. You can show your primary groups. And then on this site, I have my add-on memberships right below. Let's add that new level we tacked on here below this. And this is using a new block called the single membership level block that you can see here. So this one is built right into the Paid Memberships Pro. I can duplicate that block and call this Caring for Senior Dogs instead. It's going to dynamically update the membership level for me just like that. The price is an individual component. If I wanted to move that below the button, I can do anything like that that I want within this block. If it doesn't have an expiration, I would remove that. We'll probably do more tutorials about this single membership level block in, in the time ahead, but I'm not going to play with that right now. I want to talk quick about the irreversible changes that are happening in version 3.0. So Paperships Pro has orders. Since the beginning of time, orders had been used to loosely track the status of the member's subscription at the gateway. Now we've added subscription management in its own unique database table. So we have memberships, whether or not the person has an active membership to the site their subscription of what they're paying for that membership and all the orders within the subscription. Formerly, we used the order status canceled to indicate that a subscription was no longer active at the gateway. Now we've done away with that canceled status. So on upgrade to 3.0, your site will have all of the orders in a canceled status changed to success. And that means that the order is not necessarily tracking the membership level anymore. Um, the upgrade script will also 
create subscriptions where they make sense when they're active in your site. So that all happens on Upgrade. Really important to be ready for that update on your site. Take backups of your database. It's very difficult to roll back. We don't recommend it, but we're going to have some help for you, regardless of if you're a paid member or not. If you decide to update, then you roll back just for whatever reasons. We'll work those issues out. There's another add-on that was merged in to Paid Memberships Pro. It's the cancel on next payment date. With 3.0, you'll get that premium add-on bundled right into the core free plugin. That means that when a member subscription is canceled either by themselves on the site, at the payment gateway, maybe in PayPal, they decide to cancel the recurring payment. Pay Merchants Pro is going to listen to that event and set their expiration date for what their next payment date would have been. It doesn't instantly take away their membership anymore. It gives them through their next payment date, through the value they've prepaid you for their membership. I'm going to do a checkout on the front end of this site so that we can see what the subscriptions look like. I have it connected to a testing gateway right now with Stripe. But if I click through to this professional level and I use the Stripe testing card, it's going to create the subscription at the payment gateway. If I view my membership account, it'll show what I'm paying per month. But when I go in the admin now and I locate my member and I click to edit member, now I'll have a memberships tab that shows my active subscription, $100 per month. That information is synced right from Stripe. So I now have a subscription management page where I can uh, synchronize it and get active information from the payment gateway that calculates the most accurate as possible next payment date down to the minute and time. I can still go reference this at Stripe. It shows that it's a gateway testing account and it shows that it's an active uh, membership status. So it makes it very clear to me who's paying me and who might have an out of sync subscription or a lapsed payment and an out of sync membership. I can get to that screen to manage the subscription right from the active memberships section on this edit member screen. So I can, that's how I was viewing the details. I can also see associated orders, all the orders associated with this subscription. So it was a, just to check out today. So we don't have additional orders, but if this was a monthly membership that had been going on for two years, you'd have 24 orders here to look at and see. So that's a really super uh, addition and people are really gonna be happy for tighter subscription management in PM Pro 3.0. Just one more quick payment gateway thing. We also merged in our Stripe billing limits into the core plug and that was also an add-on. Now it's in the free version so you can set up membership levels that have a installment plan pricing and then maybe don't expire or maybe are like expiration in a year. So it's really important for sites that have very high ticket memberships. Let's say you charge $1,000 upfront for a lifetime membership and people wanted to split that into three payments but still have a lifetime of membership. Formerly you needed an add-on to do it. Now that's built into core. So you can do with Stripe, you can set up a billing limit so it could charge them, you know, this amount for the first three payments and then cancel ongoing, maintain their membership out. So cool add-on. I'm going to jump over to show some new blocks that are added and enhanced. So we always had a checkout button, but we've improved it to use more of the inspiration of what the WordPress block editor and buttons and inherit colors from your theme. So you can still choose a level that this button will go to checkout for. So you don't have to remember the ID and move things around like that. And you can adjust the background color of the block. You can make the text bigger and you can adjust the text. What level was this? By three hours training. Now, and if we were on the front end of the site, that button will link people directly to the checkout page for that checkout level. So it'll stay in sync and be really easy if you wanna craft a custom pricing page or just insert kind of checkout CTAs for people within your content to get them to sign up for things. I'll go back into this page and show you the new content visibility block. This is replacing the membership block that's been in Paid Nourishments Pro. All of your blocks that are the membership block will seamlessly migrate to this one. So with Paid Nourishments Pro, you can protect things at the page or posts level just with the required membership settings. You also have a block version that you can use. The new version is called content visibility. So if you wanted to only put this checkout button block to people who didn't have that membership level, you could do hide from a specific membership level, three hours dog training. So if it was a one-time purchase, you didn't want people to be able to rebuy it, you can hide content from a specific level from anyone with a membership level, which would be great for kind of a sales copy and things that you only want non-members to see. Or you can hide from people who are not logged in. So if you wanted to show a login link or some other benefits of membership. The same exists on the show side. We could add another block below this with contact information for how to claim your, how to claim or how to set up your training sessions. 
and provide lots of information here. And then we would set this block to show to a specific membership level three hours dog training. So that's going to let me set up a page that both sells and gives access and information to people with the membership. So you can use the content visibility block within any page, post, any custom post types that support the block editor, or you can use it in your widgets. Uh, if you're using a full site editing theme that enables the site editor, you can also use that block to do like different headers and footers and pieces of things that frame all of the content in your site. On the topic of access, we also have added a toggle in the admin bar to let admins logged into the membership site preview what the page would look like in different scenarios. So I'm gonna pop over to a blog post that I have access to, and I'm viewing it with my membership, uh, current membership levels as admin. I can switch this to say view without access. So without logging out, without trying to log in as somebody else, I get a preview of what my site looks like to a non-user, a non-member, someone without access. So you can play with that to get a preview of your site. It'll remember what you've chosen. So if you navigate to other content, you'll continue to view the site as a non-member, as a person without access. And then if you wanna change it back to view as someone with any kind of access or as just your specific levels, you can do that too. So that's a really great feature for helping admins build really great experiences for non-members and for members alike without having to manage sessions or different browsers or use your phone to check on something. That's it for my highlights of PM Pro 3.0. There's a million things under the hood that are just hardening up the system, making things more secure, fixing long-standing bugs and pain points from our users. It's been a long time coming, but we're very excited to get this product out the door to you. I'm gonna put a link in the description to our beta testing post. I'll keep this post description updated when we have a release candidate available that you can use and test at that stage, the plugin will be 3.0 on our live membership sites at paidmerchantspro.com. So it'll be in a production environment and we'll continue to iron out any bug fixes that we need.